Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics by. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a table in MATLAB. So first of all, I will clear all the command window. Now I will define an array x where I will print up, where I will store the number from one to 10. So here it is x. And then in another array, I want to store the square values of x. So here x squared. And now in another array, I want to store the values of square root of x. That is z. So I will now stop showing the number. So now basically there are uh, lots of ways to create a table in MATLAB. I'm going to show you three process on how to create a table. So the first process, uh, I will use the command disk. So it's very simple. And between the disk, I will just put the array x, y, and z. Now, if I print it here, uh, you will see that I'm getting, you know, the numbers uh, that are printed in a row, but uh, we actually do not no, do not want it, right? We want to print our arrays in a, in uh, in columns so that it looks like a table. So since x, y, and z were a row vector, to convert them into a column vector, you just need to take the transpose of each x, y, and z. So now you see that uh, we have got our desired table of form. So since it's a table, I will also need to use a headline so that it looks a more convenient one. Okay, so in this table, uh, I'll write down the headline. Square and square root of x. Uh, okay. I'll also print an uh, underline here. Now it looks perfectly fine. So this is one process uh, on how uh, you can create a table. So now we'll move to another uh, process. So what is the advantage of uh, the process that we are going to use now? Now, if you see that here x and x square both are integer arrays, right? And uh, here square root of x is a um, fraction and the default system in MATLAB is that it prints the number up to four decimal places. But what if we want to print the numbers up to some like uh, some two decimal uh, places? So for this, we have another command called printf. F print f. So here I will again uh, write down the array number that is x, y, and z. And within this inverted uh, comma, I will just write down the format of the arrays that I'm going to uh, use. So here x and y are integers, and for integers we generally use percent %d. Percent %d. And also for y we use percent %d. And since z is fractional, we we we'll use percent f, but uh, now that we want to print z up to two decimal places, so I have to write point two. Now, if I print it, um, you again see that it's uh, again showing in a row. Uh, I'll have to break down the line. I'll have to use backslash n. So now it's okay. Now, now you see that the columns are not properly aligned with the headlines, right? So to, to transform the columns uh, a little bit in the right-hand side, uh, I have to use some numbers here, like six, six and six. So you can, uh, you know, place any number you want. You have to just, you know, uh, do trial and error until the columns are properly aligned with the headline. So it's another approach to create a table. Now I'm going to show you the most easiest and the most shortest course uh, that uh, uh, that creates a table and that is obviously uh, by using loop so uh, there are uh, different kinds of loop uh, in matlab like for loop and while loop i'm going to use for loop so i'll just uh, delete all the arrays that i have created 
because you know uh, with loop is super easy to create tables so now i will use four and also end our loop okay and here our index number i will go from one to ten and for i equal to one to ten i want to print this i want to print i then i square and then finally the square root of i so here it is. You see that it's same as before. So if I want to uh, take the last column a little bit of in the right hand, right hand side, so I'm just going to increase the number here, eight. So yeah, now it looks perfectly fine, right? So these were the three ways uh, through which you can uh, create a table. Um, you know, obviously there are obvious, uh, lots of other ways also. Uh, you can try them, but um, I, I have uh, shown you three processes in this video. So that was it for today. Take care and bye-bye.